Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So in September last year, Google announced that starting in January 2024, they would start phasing out third-party cookie support in the Google Chrome web browser. Now, just to let you know that as of yesterday in my region, the 4th of January, that now has started to happen, where Google has started their first phase of their plan to drop third-party cookie support in the browser. And they have now basically picked 1% of Google Chrome browsers on the 4th of January and have started enabling a feature called tracking protection in those browsers. So um, the phase, first phase of um, the end of third-party cookie support is only being rolled out to a limited subset of users, only to 1%. Now, as I mentioned uh, in a video I did post in September, where I said that Google is getting a new tracking protection feature, which I'll leave down below if you want more information. Um, if we just head over in the stable version of Google Chrome version 120, head to our settings and privacy and security page. If you are in the 1% that has received the new feature called tracking protection, you will see that third-party cookies, this entry here, will be replaced with tracking protection. If you are in that one percent now you can see that i am not but as i mentioned in that previous video back in september you can actually enable the tracking protection feature if you would like to do so by enabling an experimental flag in the stable version and just a quick recap on how to do that and um, for this we head over to our address bar and we enter chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags and the easiest way to bring up the relevant flag would be just to type in tracking. And you'll see on this page, there's quite a lot of entries. So just scroll down to where you see tracking protection for 3PCD. Now, what that 3PCD stands for, it stands for third-party cookie domain tracking. Okay, so that's what that stands for. And the description reads, enables... The tracking protection UI user interface and preferences that will be used for the 3PCD 1%. So as mentioned, this is only rolling out to 1% in the initial stages of testing. And if you want to enable the feature before it becomes available in your browser, because as mentioned, Google will test this to some degree or other. And then if they find it successful, then they will start pushing out pushing it out in future updates to the browser. And it seems that Google has been a little bit slow off the mark with this tracking protection because um, most other mainstream browsers have already started blocking third-party cookies, but nonetheless, better late than never. So if you want to enable tracking protection, just enable the experimental flag and then click on relaunch to restart Google Chrome version 120. And now if we head back to settings, you will see that third-party cookies has been replaced with tracking protection which says manage third-party cookies and tracking protections. And not much is actually different when it comes to the settings. But um, this is the start of the phase out of third-party cookies with this new tracking protection feature. And yeah, you've got some um, toggles. You can block all third-party cookies, which by the way, I like to do. You can send a do not track request if that's what you so wish to do. And then you could also have an exception list where you can add sites that you want to use third-party cookies, which I think is a nice move. And just on another side note, um, the fact that you are blocking third-party cookies could cause some compatibility issues um, with sites that do rely on third-party cookies. So just be aware of that. And there are already uh, reports in this regard where Microsoft now has confirmed that um, basically, there are some users using Microsoft 365 services in the Google Chrome web browser, as an example, like OneDrive, who are already experiencing um, compatibility issues with this enabled. So if you are maybe, as an example, using a Microsoft 365 service and are experiencing compatibility issues, then what you can also do is you can just head back to that flag and you can actually disable set it to disabled which will actually um, disable this feature completely um, in the browser as an example if you are in that one percent who have already got the feature or if you have enabled it using an experimental flag you can just disable the feature 
and that will then remove tracking protection and replace it with the default feature as mentioned which should sort those problems out and obviously this is google's um step now um into bringing more privacy according to google um, this tracking protection will uh, include and bring more privacy into the browser and if you are wondering what um how much um, one percent of chrome users are then according to reports it's approximately 30 million chrome users that make up the one percent so although it's only one percent that's quite a lot of users who have already received this tracking protection feature to start the phase out of third-party cookies and obviously if i get any more info and um, then obviously i'll keep you guys posted and let you know accordingly so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one